The first engine's already laid a line. You're gonna be the second engine and you're gonna pump the humat from the rear of the truck. So the firefighter's gonna get off the truck, look both ways, go back to the rear of the truck, disconnect the reducer from the main intake, connect the soft suction, You can extend the soft suction out, come preferably to the engineer's side of the truck and guide the engineer. As soon as you've got enough line but not too much as to not cause any kinks, you're going to motion the engineer to stop vocally and with a hand signal, stretch the line out. In this instance, we're going to use a section of supply line so that you have enough line to go from the discharge to the humid valve. The firefighter is going to look behind him, make sure it's clear. Pull off one section. Either the engineer or the firefighter can take the female or male side. In this, in this instance, the firefighter is going to connect the female in to the number three discharge. You can use whatever discharge you wish one or three on this truck. Engineer is going to pull the line out so there's no kinks in it. Connect to the bottom of the humat valve. Then you're going to go over to the pump panel, open up the number three discharge, at idle. The reason we do this first is to not rob water from the, the front truck. Then he's going to make the changeover on the humat. Go over the pump panel, bleed the air from the rear main. and then open up your rear intake. Now you have water. Go ahead and open your tank fill. Throttle up to whatever the needed pressure is. Remember you automatically give 20, which at idle should give you that. And never increase or decrease pressure without communication to the front engine. Close your bleed valve. Now we're going to pump the humet from the front of the truck. Firefighter gets off the truck, guides the engineer to the humet valve. Gives them the signals, hand signals and vocally. Connects up to the front. Engineer puts the trunk in pump. while the firefighter is disconnecting from the humat valve. He's going to do the same thing, stretch out the line. The engineer is going to break the coupling. The engineer then goes to the humat valve again. And this uh, hose leg connects to the bottom of the humat valve. Flakes the line out. Remember when you flake the line out, make sure that you're away from the line when you intend to charge it. Checks to make sure it's the right discharge. It's discharge number three. Charges the line. Again, that's at idle when he charges the line. Going to go make the changeover. Nice and easy. Go to the front of the truck where the bleeder valve is for the front intake. Clear it. Back to the pump panel. Open up your intake. Remember when you open these electronic valves, 
hold them for about one to two seconds after they turn green. Make sure they're fully open. Crack your tank fill. Throttle up to the needed pressure. But not until communicating with a Ford engineer. Tank's full. Close your tank fill. All right, so a lot of you guys haven't seen the Pierce trucks. <clears throat> There's a little bit of difference. Both intakes uh, are on the uh, captain side of the truck. That's your main intake there. This is your auxiliary intake. That's your manual gate to open that one, and that's your manual gate to open the main. There's your bleeder valve for the main. This is your four inch. And your bleeder valve for the auxiliary. Again, that's your bleeder valve. Water will come out right there. You also have a front intake. It's kind of hidden in the bumper. This intake is an electronic valve. And that's operated from the pump panel, just like on the other trucks. Yeah, you open and you close. Sometimes the engineer will have to make this uh, connection and pump the humid by himself if the uh, other three members had to go into the fire or up to the fire. So this is why it's important when the first truck lays a line to flip the skip so that the line isn't in the street because somebody could get hurt. 